It's time to learn how to solve the V-Cube 7, currently the largest of the puzzle cubes that exists. Although this cube is pretty much equal in difficulty to the V-Cube 6. So if you know how to solve this one, I encourage you to figure out this one by yourself. There's hardly any more to learn, and it's pretty intuitive. Now, since it's so similar, I'm not going to require you to know how to solve the V-Cube 6, but I will require you to know how to solve a 5x5. Thereby, you need to know how to solve 4x4 and then a 3x3. So, if you do not own any of those cubes and you'd still like to learn them, check out the Gabasoft Cube Simulator. It's in the description over there and it simulates all the cubes. And then you can check out my tutorials, which is in the playlist over there, and you can learn them from that. Now, in this tutorial, I will be just showing you how to do the last two centers and the last two edges. If you need a very detailed explanation and a walkthrough throughout the entire solving process of the cube, then click this video right there. But otherwise, stay here and you'll save a lot of time in learning how to solve it. Alright, so since for those of you that have stayed here, let's get to it. Now the first thing you want to do is create a 1x5 bar in the middle. It just makes it overall easier when you get the middle bar out of the way first. So I'm just going to be using this one. So I need to get the piece that goes here and here. So this piece works perfectly for that. Just grab it like that. Then I can do the same thing for this piece right there. And there we go. Now turn it so it's now vertical. Okay, now let's go on to another 1x5 bar. It doesn't matter if you want to do an inner or an outer. So just pick whatever one you want to do. And these look pretty good since they're all grouped together. So I'm going to bring that up here. And that makes it a little more easier to pair up the centers. So I'm going to rotate it up here and grab these two. This works fine. And then rotate it out of the way and bring it down. Then I simply just want to take this 1x5 bar and bring it down here. Just like that. Now there's an important thing that you need to remember for the last two centers is that if you do a one by an outer 1x5 bar first, then you want to do an inner one next. Otherwise, it'll make the step that you have to do later on a little harder. So just remember to do an inner one. Now, I am going to go ahead and do these pieces. And there's also something important to do. Since you've used up the center one, the center one by five bar, you want to build off of these types of pieces, these ones on the, the inner part of the cube, like this piece, this piece, because those are a little harder to connect. So you always want to connect pieces with these. So like if I wanted to connect one with this, just grab, just like take this piece and go up and pair it like that. But if, for example, you want to start building off of these pieces, there's not really any way to get, like, let's say, this piece in there, because this is in the way. Because normally, you just bring it up like this, but then you have to get rid of your already created 1x5 bar. So you just want to start out with one of these inner pieces, and then just continue building off from there. So, now this little 3x1 bar, or these are already connected to the inner piece, so that works out perfect. Just bring that up onto the top square. Just like that. And now we want to get the pieces to connect to it over here, because we can simply rotate it like this, and then just bring up a piece to connect it. So this piece will fit with this one if we rotate it up like this, and connect it like that. Okay, now for the next part. We want to get the other, the, the piece that will connect here into this position. Now, you may not know it, but there are two different types of these little pieces here. There's like this one and this one. They are two different pieces. So the piece that you need to go here can come from one of these five locations on the cube. Like that. And so this piece would work, but if we wanted to bring it down there, we'd end up breaking our 1x4 bar that we've made right there. So you want to get one that won't damage this. So this piece right here will work fine. But in order to get that down without damaging this, you want to rotate it like this. So when you go up to grab it, you can also push this piece up there at the same time. 
so I can bring that up. Then twirl this around to bring that piece down. And then we can easily pair it up. Like that. Then just bring it into any one of these two slots. It doesn't matter, but it might make it a little easier if you leave this whole area open. So I guess it doesn't matter at that. So just bring it up and bring that into position. All right, so now you create the other bar the same way. It doesn't matter if you do an outer one or an inner one, as long as you've got these two already filled out. Now this bar is look only needs one more piece, so I'm going to rotate it over here so that when I go up to grab this piece, which will be used to fill this up, I also push that out of the way. Actually, here. Okay. Now, if you bring it up like this, this might happen where, see, it comes up in the wrong position. That's the problem with corner center pieces. So there's a bunch. These pieces here are all corner centers. So just something to keep in mind. So you may need to bring this up and then bring it down like that. So now it can be connected very easily. Okay, now on to the last bar. Now you will probably only be able to get three pieces down in here. So you only want to deal with these pieces here. Now what you want to do is get one of these corner pieces down into this slot down here. So I'm just going to go up and do that. And then you want to take the inner edge piece here and go up and grab it like that. Then you want to get this other corner piece down in here. So bring that over here so that when you go up to grab the corner piece, you also push that out of the way. And remember, you got to be careful which way the corners go. I just know from experience that the corner needs to be up here. Then when I rotate it like this, I can go and grab it down like that. There. All right, now you want to put these pieces in one at a time, but I'm going to go ahead and do one without you just because it's easier to see what to do after you've already put one in. Okay, so what you want to do with the center piece is rotate it like this so that these two centers now look the same. Okay, now what you want to do is take your four 1x5 bars already in position and bring them up like this. This way it'll form a 1x5 bar like that. Then you want to rotate it over and bring it down there. Although, it doesn't matter if you rotate it this way. So, just want to make that clear. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it the way I was doing it before. So, after you bring that down, rotate this back, bring this up, rotate that into position, and bring that back up. Now, if that was a little too fast for you, you can either replay the video or continue watching because I'm going to do a, a, one more walkthrough with the centers, this time ending with an inner bar. Okay, now this time I will just do a silent walkthrough again until I get to the last 1x5 bar that I need to do. Okay, now that is pretty intuitive, although you may not have been able to tell what I was doing. Just think about it. All you really got to do is you're you're only able to move like this, these layers, like this layer, and then rotate the top layer. So there's not many moves. You can explore what you what you can do just by doing that. So, all right, now on to the inner bar. Now, again, you want to start off with this inner piece, and then, it, but instead of these outer pieces, you want to work with these two pieces. Now, this is it's just the same thing that we're going to be doing, except the pieces are a little different. Now, this is already paired up with this, so I'm going to take this center corner and bring it down there. 
Okay, and then I can bring it up and pair it in place. So yes, it's very similar doing an inner or outer bar. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you with these two pieces. So get one piece in the right place, up where it needs to go. So, or you can choose this piece and rotate it up there. It doesn't matter. So again, you wanna bring up your four complete one by five bars to complete a one by five bar with it. And then it doesn't matter which way you rotate it, either the left or the right, you just need to bring it down. Then rotate this back, bring that back up, and then bring that up. Okay, now we need to rotate the cube up here and then position the cube over like this. And this is actually the same case. So just like I showed you before, you bring it up to make a complete one by five bar and yeah, I've already showed you all this, so. Okay, so that's it for all the centers. I hope you're able to solve your V cube seven, the centers at least, so yeah. Okay, now on to the last two edges. Now what you pretty much want to do is always try to push an edge into mismatched edges. So like this edge would need to be pushed into these mismatched edges. Now also, whenever you need to flip an edge, you know, flip it over, just, ro uh, just rotate it over here. But in this tutorial, I will just apply the flipping algorithm just because it's easier to see these edges together. So. So with this particular case, I I can push this edge into these two mismatched ones, that works. Or I could apply the flipping algorithm and push this one into there, or that one into there. But this works. So. And revert the centers back to normal. Okay. Now this case, I can just push this one into there, or I can push that one into there. It doesn't matter. Okay, and then you just come across a case that you normally do on the 5x5. Five five. Just, this is the parity error, so just make sure to use this layer as R and this layer as L. If you come across this parity error, then you do this layer as R and this layer as L. And you just continue to follow through the algorithm normally. And of course, with this case, these layers would be R and these layers would be L. So basically for any case that you get with the last two edges, you always wanna push a piece into mismatched edges. That's basically the whole strategy. And then, so the more you do that, the more and more they'll be solved. And let's, with this case here, this is just another case on the five x five that you should already know how to apply. Now for a case like this, you don't have any edges that you can push into any mismatched edges. So when this happens, just take one of, for, so for a case like this, just take one of these inner edges, push it into the other one, apply the flipping algorithm, revert the centers back to normal, and then you get a case that you can apply. Like you can push this edge into these mismatched edges. And also if you find a case where you have no mismatched edges, you know, like these aren't mismatched, but you just go ahead and push a piece right in there and do the flipping algorithm and revert the centers back to normal. And then you simply have a parity case. And you should know what to do for a case like this, but I'll go ahead and go through it. You pretty, you just wanna take, instead of applying the parity algorithm for both of these, just take either these edges and push it into there, apply the flipping algorithm, and when you bring them back, they will be solved. Or, just to give you another option, you can also push these edges into it and apply the flipping algorithm. And then, yeah, you'll just have a parity error afterwards. Okay, I believe that's all I need to show you for the last two edges of the V cube seven. As soon as you get, you know, them all solved, you can solve it just like a normal three by three. Remember, it's an odd layered cube and you won't have any more parity errors. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, this concludes all of the tutorials that I have made for the puzzle cubes. I will not be making any more for 
a V Cube 8, you know, even if they do come out, because they're all just so similar to each other. I mean, after this cube, uh, V Cube 8 will be no problem, and thereby the V Cube 9 will be no problem. So, okay, yeah, that's everything. Hope you learned a lot from these tutorials. Bye.